Yo, welcome back to another banger of a fucking tutorial. I hope you guys are good. Before I do anything, I just want to say thanks for 5k. We really appreciate it. We've been working like crazy uh, to make this shit happen. And we can't be doing this without you guys. Y'all the fucking homies. But yeah, 5k is crazy. We've been gaining a lot of traction off our shorts. And since we started posting full length videos, it's just been going even better. With that being said, leave a like and subscribe, please. If you guys are fucking with these tutorials, be sure to check out our website in the description. We recently dropped it and um we've got a bunch of free kits on there and um i think there's two paid kits on there as well one from cage and then our omega kit so definitely go check that out there's a bunch of discounts going on make sure to check out my socials and the label socials in the description I run it up for ya boy and yeah today i'm going to be doing another monty booker smino type beat just going to be running down what i did and what my thought process was on everything so yeah let's just uh, get into it So yeah, like I said in the first Smino video, this like Monty Booker sound is completely off feeling. Everything you know about quantizing, fucking chuck it in the bin, bro. You don't need that shit. This is literally all about fucking bounce. Let's start off with these chords I used. This is from this Monty Booker sounds kit, but it's basically got all the sounds he used in his past songs that blew up. The whole project with uh, Smino is on here, and it's literally every single like stem in a one shot form. So it's really handy if you guys don't know how to make these sounds, because it can be a bit tedious, like kind of sound designing these like crazy glitchy sounds that he uses. So yeah, this is from the color track it's just a normal chord and then I just made this pattern So yeah, very basic. Obviously, I didn't have the exact chord in MIDI, so I didn't really have a lot to play with. But these two notes just sounded right. And then after that, I added, uh, I think it was the same chord progression from the first chord. And then I added portal on it. I don't think I have the MIDI anymore uh, or the portal preset because I kind of just rendered everything out. But portal is literally the best thing to use, in my opinion, for these like Monty Booker beats. I've been using it uh, in a bunch of beats, especially with loops. But yeah, fucking goaded plugin that's how the sounds So yeah, it basically just made like a counter melody. I don't know what the fucking science is behind it, but it always just makes the perfect counter melody or gives me the perfect like ear candy. Next, I added uh, this synth thing. I think I also took the same uh, one shot and kind of just shortened it. So it only plays like this, kind of just like stops after like the first quarter bar. And then I added another portal preset on it and I don't know how it works. Like I said, you're asking the wrong fucking guy, but yeah, it just worked and yeah this is how it sounds and that's about it for the loop all the other parts of the loop is mostly just ear candy it's little fucking bits and bobs that you just throw in to add to the bounce so yeah this is with all the ear candy i don't think i'm gonna run down each one separately because there's way too many but yeah i did shit like this uh monty booker record scratch that he uses in every fucking beat <laughs> but it, it just sounds too good to not use it's great to like transition into your hook or your verse and yeah i started off with this like synth thing pretty sure i just threw portal on that as well after that little synth thing i have this uh impact which is basically just some like laser fucking spaceship impact thing. Then I added a bunch of vocals. Also added portal on all of those. But yeah, let me just show you how everything sounds with the ear candy in.
and the verse uh, did exactly the same thing with the ear candy I think I just took out the vocals to give it a bit more variety and then I added this perk loop which is basically like an open hat perk loop I guess and I just chopped it up in a way that it fits the bounce like I usually do with perk loops uh, I feel like that's the easiest way to utilize any perk loop is you just chop up the little sections that you need uh, that fits the pockets <laughs> So yeah, that about does it for the melody side of the beat. Let's move on to the drums. I started off with this hi-hat. It's just a normal two-step. I did a bit of rolls in between. And yeah, like I said, everything is kind of just delayed just to give it that really like sluggish swing. Like these rolls shouldn't make sense. The MIDI notes are like spaced out uneven, but it just fucking works, man. If it feels right, it fucking feels right. With any type of beat, like if you can't feel the bounce or really hear an artist on it, then there's like no point and fucking even sending it to an artist because you need that bounce to kind of complement the flow of the artist but yeah this is how the hats sound Next, I added this clap, which is once again, a bit off grid, but it's nothing major. It's literally just bumped up a bit to the right to kind of follow the hats with the bounce. But yeah, that's how this sounds. When I just play the loop and the ear candy, it's a bit all over the place. But as soon as you start adding in your drums, everything just kind of makes sense. After that, I added in the 808 and kick. I think the only thing that is quantized is the kick, which isn't a bad thing because when the kick hits and the 808's delayed, it still sounds and feels delayed. Because sometimes with the waveforms of the kick and the 808's, especially with these like hard hitting sounds, if you place them on top of each other, they kind of clash in a way. So it's kind of nice to have your kick hit and then your 808 hits like half a step later but yeah this is how everything sounds together The 808 pattern isn't crazy at all because all the other bullshit kind of makes up for it. And yeah, that about does it for the beat. The only thing I can really recommend that I tried doing here is like for the intro to grab the listener's attention. I did this little like Pharrell Williams type of, you know, four count in and it kind of helps with this beat as well. I think it just fits like perfect, especially with like the record scratch at the end. It just makes the bounce feel so much harder as soon as it drops in. But yeah, this is how the intro sounds. But yeah, I think that is about it for the beat. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my socials in the description. Check out the label socials in the description. Like I said, we dropped the website. Got a bunch of kits on there as well. Check that shit out. Be sure to join the Discord as well to get more discount codes and um, to stay in the loop with live streams because we're going to start live streaming at least once a week to do like reactions uh, and cookups. And yeah, once again, thanks for 5k guys. We really do appreciate it. It feels really good to um, like build up a little community from scratch in like six months it's it's really a crazy feeling and i feel like we've got so much more shit to do so yeah just want to say thanks again uh you guys mean the world to us hope you guys enjoyed leave a like and subscribe if you guys fuck with it and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace